All right, Brian, we're out here. We've got your X Quad 550 with retracts, and we've got your Fly Sky transmitter here. And uh, want to just show you, we've got LEDs there. Okay, and of course, got them behind the eyes there. And then this is your GoPro mount. And this is of course removable there. You just slide your GoPro in and out of there. So we're gonna do a quick flight test for you and show you what we're doing here. So what I've done is I have plugged in, I turned on the transmitter first and I plugged in the quad. All right, and so this is, a, the transmitter's on, the quad is on and we're in GPS mode. This top position is GPS mode. Failsafe is off. We're gonna push the sticks together to start it. Give it some gas. All I did was give it throttle up. Now it'll float around a little bit, but then you'll see. She'll catch your fly around a little bit. This is in GPS mode. There we go. We're just gonna do a couple of circles here. Three tracks up. We'll bring that back to us here. This is against the wind. Got the LEDs underneath there. See that? All right, attitude mode is the middle switch. We'll flick that in there. She's more aggressive, as you can see. Awesome. Let's bring it back in here. We'll go back into GPS mode. All right. Now your fail say your fail safe should operate this way. Once you got it out here, it's in GPS mode. What we'll do is we'll put our retracts back down. There we go. Now, let's just see. When we flick our fail safe switch, you're right, you should have no control. No control like that. It'll rise up. You'll see here. See, it rises up. And then it will it rise up about 60 feet. Then it brings itself back over to where it took off at. This GPS location approximately. You can see the orange light flashing there. It's doing this against the wind. There it is. As you can see, I'm not controlling it. It's doing that itself. And it's gonna start lowering itself down until it lands and it shuts off the motors. Yeah. There we go. And it'll bring itself down. And again, this is the return to home. You can see the uh, orange flashing light up there as we go a closer here. It's bringing itself down. I believe it's gonna land on the uh, concrete, maybe not. I don't want it to land right there in the water. So what I'm gonna do is flick this switch here. What I did there was I, all right, let me land it here. All right, we'll bring it over here real quick. And we're going to set it down right here. A little bouncy there. All right. And like I said, those retracts are a lot more a lot more durable now. Uh, so what I did there was I took the fail, sw fail safe and switched it off. Took this down into manual mode and back up to GPS. And then I had control again. So that's how you'll gain control over it once you go into fail safe mode. So... Hope you enjoyed the flight test, Brian, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. All right, we're going to do a little um, video for you real quick here, showing you the setup of your switches, Brian, and I'm going to show you on the software assistant how they're set up. So you can see where the blue GPS is lit up. Um, this switch right here, your F mode switch, it's in the top position, so, or in if you will so then uh, if we go down to the middle position you'll notice on the assistant software it goes to attitude mode okay and then we go down here to the last position and it has gone into manual mode now if you flick this throttle hold switch here flicking that forward you'll see that that went into fail safe okay and then it doesn't matter which mode this is in. So what we'll do is I'll show you. See, it doesn't matter which 
mode that it's in as I flick this switch right here through each one the failsafe doesn't change so we'll put this back now it's a manual mode because that's where the switch is at we'll go attitude and GPS okay and then right up here you can see the little slider for X1 and X2 your pitch gain right here or your pitch trim excuse me as I turn that you'll see that moves and then that adjusts your gains oh, that's great all right okay and then your pitch trim here adjust your gains so you can turn that and that adjust your gains there all right and then your retract switch is right here so flicking that forward will retract your landing gear awesome well i just want to show you how your switches are set up and what what it will do in the software when you uh, activate the switches so thanks a lot